Alrighty. Uh, so we need to read our Alpha. Let's go to Alpha's from Figamabob. Come see me, I just got something to look at. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's go for quests. Alrighty, let's go see a figure my wall. Can we uh last trouble probably Hello there. Perhaps Hello. you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. You Slight my respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Hell yes. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Maybe we're just going to come find back anything. another time and do some side quests. Just in case. in the corner. Got it. Here you go, mate. Where are you? Now we're gonna wait. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, what you got for us, Figo? Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. All right. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. What is it? Tell us. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Oh, Hecate's the defense. Okay. 
Piggy boy. Trying too hard. Away from me. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Revelio. So I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. It's a bit you know where to find me once okay. you've finished. Okay. Seems so, Crossed Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Can't some kind soul help me? Crossed Wands, eh? Close to crossing wands. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Uh, no, it's. Let me also. Alrighty. Can I help you? Ah uh, yes, Luke. Oh, oh, we're doing uh, some spell combos. Okay. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end wins. Pretty simple. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Let's do it. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So. Care to step into the ring? Bring it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Spectacular! We'll make you regret signing up. Okay, that was interesting. Through the other shields, got it. <laughs> Juggling this guy. There goes my way. Let me go. Let's go. What to do? Nice work. Sebastian wasn't Easy. wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up, and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second jewel is ready when you are. Bring it. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. This kid is just like. Hope to see you back here again. Dodgy underground stuff. Let's do our second jewel. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of cross? Why, yes, it is. 
I've got a group ready for another round. Yes, we are, mate. I'm ready. Brilliant. I'll be dueling solo. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Wait, is it 1v3? Oh, shizzles. Surrounding me! Keep forgetting the block. I've already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay, mate. Hello, Lucan. Of course. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. Okay. Let me open. Keep trying. Oh, cast Akio. Akio. Oh. Nicely done. That's pretty cool. Let me open. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Ooh, alrighty. Assignment's all finished. Let's head back. Alrighty. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accomplish. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Let's do it. 
Concentrate and keep your wand steady. There we go. Good work. Feel free to practice Revelli. in the classroom before you go. I've set up a few targets for you. Incendio. Holy crap, okay. Okay, so now we can... Alrighty. Ah, there you are. We did it. We learned incendio. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hackett. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Yes, we shall, figure boy. I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. Dick. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is this thing over here? Revelio. Oh, it's just a shiny rock. Talk to Seb. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Mm, like Revelio. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To A Gringotts? port key? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Probably. You Your secret's safe. Did say you. too much, mate. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Righty, let's meet our mate Sebi Boy. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, <laughs> spells are free. Give it a try. You ready?
Disillusionment. So I guess got to equip it, right? Uh, what is that? That one? Where is that? Yeah. Um, what are we going to... Oh, we can get rid of the repair one for now, I guess. What did I get rid of? And then we want to put that. Is something you should have known better just to cross my path. Whoops. Thought I could just walk past it. Cool. Okay, I guess we go the other way. A job alone. I shall pretend I cannot see you. How are we going to get in there? It'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's Simple. what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Four more to go. Holy sh The key. Yeah. Is someone there? <laughs> Is that you, Peeves? He was like full visible. Where are you going, Granny? Better than I knew I had duped it. Goodness gracious, what a mess. Three, I duped that. Besides, the library is no place for larking about. Out at once. Yo, are we going to get screwed in a time loop? Speak to me then. The king. Oh, we're gonna let him while we're at it. Wait, why 
I did a quest though. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Right. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. <laughs> Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Uh, well, I'm gonna take it to the little authority figures. Oh, okay. Oh. Ghost. Don't let her see you. Chabated. Ooh, she almost got me. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Pretty cool stuff in this area. Levioso! Akia! Who have we here? Jim Peeves. Little friend, out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your what? search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Uh, Repairio. Repairer! Is that the... What the hell is down here? Where oh, might God. this lead? <laughs> Reparo! Revelio! Surprising. Guards at the ready. Come at me, bro. Uh, 
Ah, he hit me. He hit me. Imagine if I just repaired him. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening further on. We'll go find that. This must be the way forward, but to where? Revelio. about me. That was a weird one. Okay. Next, who's next? Come at me, bro. Wombo combos, I think. It is a book after all. Hey, what's what's a book? What is that? Are these going to be the four founders of Hogwarts?
<laughs> no botting at all. Imagine. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand Rookwood. that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganach. When we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hammer. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But. Let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She turned bad, she evil. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said. Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone to Peeves, you little snitch. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Aves, you absolute rat. 